Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Scott Tisson. I'm currently in Bishop Auckland walking the Way of Life Trail, one of the many Northern Saints trails. This time around I'm exploring the Way of Life, picking out some of the key stopping points and if you're new here please consider subscribing and hit the notifications so you do not miss a video and look out for my other five videos on each of the other Northern Saints trails. The Way of Life is 29 miles long and crosses old churches, magnificent castles and runs from St Mary's Church in Gainford to Durham City. So let's start this trail in Gainford. From here the trail heads north all the way to the Eskom Saxon Church, one of England's most ancient churches. You'll then make your way to Bishop Auckland. As you come in, you'll pass these stunning viaducts, one of the highlights of this trail. Here is the fantastic regeneration project called the Auckland Project, bringing alive the history and providing jobs in tourism to the area. They have reopened and restored many of the town's historic buildings, making Bishop Auckland a top visitor destination with a collection of world-class attractions. Start your trip at the Auckland Tower where you can pick up your tickets and get lovely views of Bishop Auckland and the castle. Then I recommend an hour or two at the Spanish Gallery followed by the Mining Art Gallery. Next up we have the amazing history of Auckland Castle. Then I headed to Deer Park before grabbing some delicious tapas at the newly opened tapas restaurant at Spanish Gallery. Then the trail heads north via Spennymoor and the Sunderland Bridge before you find yourself in the UNESCO World Heritage Site of Durham City. Yes, in Durham City there is loads to explore. You must visit the Durham Cathedral which is a fantastic starting point in the Old Town. You can climb the tower for incredible views of the city including the castle. I'm currently on top of the Durham Cathedral. This is the tower, it's a lot of steps and just behind me here you can see the Durham Castle. And why not find the Harry Potter film location of Cloisters and take in the magnificent surroundings and enjoy the museum which has some brilliant artifacts and incredible history. You'll also be right next door to the Palace Green Library and the castle but you must book a guided tour to see the castle. Or why not just get lost and wander around the medieval architecture of the city. I highly recommend a walk along the riverbank and back across to the cathedral or taking one of the rowing boats along the river. I stayed in the Radisson Blue right in the heart of Durham City which has great views and a lovely breakfast and I also recommend eating at the Food Pit which has a variety of vendors in a street food style where you can pick and mix your dishes and it's all provided by local people. As well as the Radisson Blue I also recommend staying at the Thomas Wright House which is a lovely quiet guest house in the sleepy village of Byers Green. All right, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video of one of the Northern Saints trails. Don't forget, it's just one of six. So there are five other videos. So look out for the other five on my channel. You can pick up six of these leaflets which tell you everything you need to know about each of the trails along with this guidebook for five pounds which has all the information you need as well. And don't forget, you have a little passport which you can get stamped along the way which acts as a fantastic souvenir of your trip. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you of course for watching. If you've liked the video please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and hit the notifications so you don't miss future videos and thanks for watching and happy travels.